Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Yes, kind of a wintry day today. Uh, so I went to Yankee's semi-annual sale for the second time. I usually go a couple of times because throughout the sale there's they're always bringing new things in. So the first time I went, I wanted to get some more Elevation candles and they didn't have a lot when I went. So I wanted to go back uh, to get some more because I'm having really good luck with my Elevation candles. Plus they had another 10% off uh, sales items. So I, and I also had a $5 reward um, voucher or whatever. So uh, yes, Another 10% off does make a big difference. So I did get some more large elevation candles. And um, so with the extra 10% off, they were 60% off. So the large elevation candles came to $11.60. Um, I did get one medium because they didn't have the scent in the large. But this one came to... Uh, $9.50. So cost-wise, it's definitely better to get the larger elevations, but they just didn't have this in a larger size. I did get one uh, tumbler, and uh, this one was $5. And then the set cups, uh, they came to, uh, I think, $3.40. And and um, I did get some votas and some tarts, and they came to 52 cents. Um, so yeah, everything was like an extra 10% off. Uh, so yeah, I did uh, mainly went there to get some more of my elevation candles. Uh, so I did get another uh, ginger pumpkin. And uh, like I said, I finished this one at um, for my December empties, and I had a really good burn. It really didn't take that long to pull out. <clears throat> I know some people say it takes a while to pull out, but I've had pretty good luck with them. So it's a two wick. And yeah, the, the throw was really good, like eight or nine out of 10. Uh, there wasn't much wax left at the end. And this ginger pumpkin scent was so delicious. It was a very rich pumpkin. You can really smell that spicy tartness of the ginger. I really, really love the smell. So I do have two of these large ones now. Um, yeah, because I, I really do love this scent. It was really, really good. And then I decided to try Holiday Garland. Now I do like citrus scents for the winter, um, like not the summer uh, citrus, but like a wintry citrus. So it has a little bit of a little bitterness, little kick to it, a little spiciness. So this one, you can definitely smell the spice. Yeah, the, sorry, the citrus. I can get a little bit of orange. I think I get a little bit of lemon. But yeah, there is just that little bit of sharpness in there to make it kind of a wintry scent. But um, I'd probably be happy kind of burning this year round. There's a little bit of a greenery scent in there too. It's not like an evergreen. But there is a green, like a bright greenery scent in there. And then uh, I thought I'd try this one too, just because it was such a good price. I, I sniffed it before and kind of hummed and hawed and settled on another scent. But I thought at this price, I'm going to try the uh, Fig and Clove. Now this one, I don't get a lot of clove, which I, I love clove scents, but I don't get a lot of this um, on cold. I definitely do get that um, that kind of uh, fruity kind of scent, but it's not. It's more of a tart kind of fruit than uh, like an overly sweet. But I don't know. Maybe the clove comes out when it's uh, burning. But I get more of a like a fruity scent. But it is deep enough, so it's a good um, scent for like the fall and the winter. And then this last uh, elevation candle, I did get it in this uh, medium size uh, because. They didn't have the large size in this one. And I do have this one already in a large one. And it really is good. It's an amaretto apple. Now these um, kind of medium size have three wicks rather than the two wicks. And yeah, this is just such a unique apple scent. It's very rich. Um, it's a very deep apple scent. Um, yeah, you do get a little bit of that boozy kind of vibe to it. Um, almost like a, a wine kind of smell in there with it. 
almost like an apple liqueur or something. But it's really, really good. So yeah, I was hoping to get that in the large, but... And then I, uh, they did have these on uh, special, so um, I don't usually have a whole lot of luck with their tumblers. I think they just set a lot and um, kind of iffy with the burns. Uh, but this one um, I've had in the tart and the scent cup, and the throw is really strong. And that's uh, snow, uh, snow dusted bayberry leaf. And I just really like herbal scents uh, for the the well any time of the year really. This one's a little bit heavier, so it's a better for the winter or like colder months. But I've had really good luck with the throw uh, on my scent cups and that. And I mean, you just open it, and holy smokes. Uh, this will drain your sinuses. It is so strong and cold, so I'm hoping uh, because it's so strong and cold that'll be a good throw. So we'll see how it goes. It's just the one wick. Uh, but yeah, it worked out to be about $5, so I thought I'd give it a try. And then I did get some more scent cups. So uh, yeah, these were like three forty, dollars I think, after all the um, discounts, etc., etc. So I did get Aromatic Orange and Evergreen. So again, I like those uh, rich, spicy citrus scents. And this one is blended with the evergreen. I think I tried this in a tart and it just, it was pretty light. But yeah, this is a really nice uh, blend. Really, really good blend of the citrus and the, the evergreen. And this one is Holiday Lights. Now I think I tried this in a tart, maybe? I just can't quite remember now. But it's a uh, it's it's a sweet scent. It's like it's one of those um, scents like um, like uh, sweet candy kind of scent. There's a hint. There's a little bit of a perfumey note in there too. But it's, it'd be nice for the bedroom or a bathroom. It's just very soothing. Um, it's sweet. A little bit of perfume in there. So yeah, I did. I really did like it on cold. Uh, perfect for the bedroom. And then the margarita time, I did find, um, they didn't, I don't think they had a lot of summer scents out. But yeah, that's just a very zesty smell. Great for the summer. And then this is Christmas Celebration. Now I did um, melt, start melting this in my other centerpiece um, milk cup. And it is really good. It's just a really good blend of winter fruits. Um, just those deep, rich uh, berry scents, and but there's a muskiness about it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's just a, a lot of um, different berry scents, and there's a little bit, like maybe a little bit of clove, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, but not straight out cinnamon. But it's just like winter berries all rolled up in those winter spicy scents, like nutmeg and cinnamon and clove. Oh, this one is really, really good. And then I did get some gel tins, and I think these were about $3.50 also. I think retail, they're about $9 Canadian. So these were $3.50, so which is quite good savings. So most of the ones I got were like just the classics. So um, this is balsam and cedar. And yeah, I just, I love evergreen scents in the, uh, in the winter time. It just screams winter. Oh yeah, that, that one is a classic. You can definitely smell the evergreen and you get that woodsy scent in there too. Uh, this is apple pumpkin, which is another classic uh, Yankee uh, scent. Mm. And these, these gel tins have a good throw to them. These are quite strong actually. I'm really happy with mine. And this is um, balsam, and, yeah, balsam and clove. Uh, it should be called balsam and cinnamon. But anyway, it's a very deep, rich, earthy cinnamon, though. You get a little bit, you get a little bit of the evergreen, but it's more in the background. You get more of that deep, rich cinnamon. And yeah, clove, yeah, I, I say more cinnamon than anything. And then I did get some uh, tea lights. Uh, now, I was warming up some tea lights downstairs. Um, I had this little um, tea light holder that has three or four tea lights in it, and I was um, melting warm luxe cashmere in the tea lights and it actually did really well in the family room. Um, so yeah, I think these were 
oh, I don't know, five fifty each or something. I just can't quite remember. But I did get some snow dusted bayberry leaf just because it is such a strong scent. So I thought I'd try that in the tea, tea lights. Uh, dreamy, uh, dreamy summer night. This is a really lovely musky floral. It is really, really good. And then I did get uh, holiday lights and um, good old soft blanket, which I wish they would bring back. I was hoping they'd have this in a scent cup and some more tarts because I actually have good luck with the throw on this in the tarts. And yeah, I wish they had those in scent cups too. So I'm still waiting for Mount Lodge to come out in a gel tin or a scent cup. I just cannot figure out why they don't bring that scent out in those. But anyway, um, so yeah, I love my Mountain Lodge, so I did pick up six more of the Mountain Lodge tarts. And yeah, I do have good luck with the tarts, actually, the throw-wise. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't mind getting some more of those. I just, I hope they don't discontinue it. I I kind of worried when they had them on the SAS and they're uh, it's like, oh, don't discontinue that. And yeah, I'm trying to cut back on the tarts, but... Like Mountain Lodge, that's the only way I can really smell it is through the melt cups. The melts, I should say. Um, Christmas Eve. Now, I also have good luck with the uh, throw on the tarts with this Christmas Eve. And this is such a unique um, scent. Oh, it's like sweet fruit. It's just like a whole bunch of fruit and you just put some sugar on it. But it's musky at the same time. It's very unique. I really like Christmas Eve. Uh, so I did decide to uh, get some more votives because, especially in the winter time, uh, when I'm watching a show on TV or watching basketball or something, I just love to get a bunch of votives going and turn out all the lights. I, it's just so relaxing and peaceful. So, <clears throat> so I did get some more votives. And uh, usually, I think I got about two of each. Uh, so this is Silver Birch. It's kind of a cologne woodsy kind of scent. And uh, this is Rainbow Cookie. Now, I had this in the scent cup, and it, it smells really, really good. Oh. oh, it is so good. It's like that sweet kind of candy scent, but... Oh, it looks like I'm sinking on my perch here. I just keep getting lower and lower. <laughs> um, what else did I get? I did get a couple of the... Um, Sweet Fig and Pomegranate, which is a nice, uh, deep, sugary, fruity scent. Um, I did get some Mistletoe, and this is actually a really good evergreen scent. I really do like it. And this one I haven't tried before. This is bra Permacin and Brown Sugar. Now, it's I'm getting kind of stuffed up. I mean, it's... It is sugary. It's definitely a bakery scent, but it's just kind of hard to smell. I think my head's full of snot right now. Um, yeah, I haven't tried that one before. And then they had some more of these home inspiration uh, votas. And actually, um, I was burning one. I just can't remember the name of it now from this home inspiration line. Uh, it was a kind of a cloney scent. I had two of them votas burning in the family room, and I could smell them. It was actually... You know, decently strong. This is Sunny Sands, which is a great uh, sunscreen, beachy kind of scent. It really smells good. Mm, 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 I like that one. And this one I haven't tried. Oh, just a minute. I think I got, oh, I got a snow dusted bayberry leaf and a, another mistletoe. And then this one I haven't tried either. This is Alfresco Afternoon. And I remember sniffing it in the stores, the candle, and I just can't quite remember. Because I just can't smell it through this little hole here. Oh. It's fruity. But yeah, it's just too late to get a good feel for it. But I can smell a little bit of fruit in there. Anyway, figure it out when it's burning. And then I did get pomegranate gin fizz. And yeah, I like pomegranate um, uh, scents, especially when they're kind of on the tart side. This is more sweet. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So yeah, I, 
I just wanted to go back to get some more elevation candles and then I saw a few new things out too. Um, so I just wanted to grab those too. I was sniffing some of the elevation candles uh, for the summer and yeah, so, some of them were kind of a little too floral for me. They did have a um, uh, uh, something sand. It was a beachy sand, which is really good. But anyway, um, I think uh, they had like a, the whole store was filled with these unopened boxes. So all the spring, summer stuff's coming in now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yes, I'm going to get bundled up and um, put a scarf around my face and take the puppies out in the woods. Uh, so everyone take care. Keep warm if you're getting some winter stormy weather. And uh, yeah, I hope Lisa loves his um, staying warm as uh, Saskatchewan. It's like minus uh, 40 Celsius or something like that. Anyway, everyone stay warm and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.